So one of the trends I've been noticing on higher end websites is having candles that are in more of a bowl shape. And those can be really expensive. So I wanted to show you an option of how you could recreate that for so much less. So I picked up one of the marble bowls that they have just in the regular um, plate and bowl aisle at Dollar Tree. You're also going to need two Dollar Tree candles. I see these at most stores that I go to, so you definitely should be able to find them. I also bought a pack of candle wicks off of Amazon. I got a ton of them for a really inexpensive price. I'll link it down below for you, but these I know are gonna last me forever. So to do this task, it does get on your pots and pans. So I actually bought a really cheap, pan from Walmart that I'm going to specifically use for this task because I've now done this like I think three times and so I want to make sure that I'm not using all of my regular pans so I think this pan was like under five dollars and then I'm just going to put the two candles in and fill it up about halfway with water now you're going to want to let this boil it's going to take probably around 20 minutes for all of the candle wax to melt so wait until the candle wax is completely melted. With the marble bowl, I'm gonna take those candle wicks and I'm actually gonna hot glue them to the bottom of my bowl. Now one of them kind of came up so I had to mess with it a little bit, but that's just gonna help it stay in place whenever you're pouring in your candle wax. So it just helps you to kind of you know, not have them floating around. So this is very hot. You wanna make sure that you have on hot pads, all the things, use tongs so that you're not touching it or going anywhere near the candle wax. So once you have your hot pads on and your tongs, you're just going to pour the candle wax into the bowl. I ended up using almost both of the candles to fill up this bowl. And then what I like to do to make sure that the candle wicks stay where I want them to be is I just take some popsicle sticks and lay them over top and then that way they'll kind of stay in place while they're drying. Now this does take a couple of hours to dry and then from there all you have to do is cut off the top of the candle wicks and you have a really cute candle to set out in your home. So Pottery Barn also has a ton of great vase options. So I wanted to create something that had more of a pottery look from Dollar Tree. So I grabbed one of their clear vases and I also picked up some clay off of Amazon. Now this clay is supposed to dry, you know, just out in the air. So that's kind of why I liked it and decided to get it. So I took out a piece of clay and I'm just gonna start by rolling it out. I tried to get it as even as possible. Next, I created two strips that were the exact same size so that when I put them on either side, they would be identical. Then I pressed them into the side of the vase and tried to create a formation with an arm on one side. And I repeated the same step on the other side. Now once I was at this point, I let it dry completely. I let it dry for 24 hours. And then I went back into paint. When I went to paint, the arms actually came off, but I figured that was okay. I could just glue them back on and they were already in the shape that I needed them in because when they were drying, they were on the vase. So I spray painted everything with two coats of white spray paint. So once that dry, I came back in and hot glued the arms. Now, since I had so much fun doing those little speckled eggs with the spray, I had wanted to do some kind of spots on here. So I said, hey, that's a great idea. We'll just use more of that. So I took that same spray from earlier and I just literally missed it all around the container. Now, one thing I learned from doing this is you don't wanna be too close up whenever you're doing it. You wanna be kind of far back and go in light doses. So just spray a little bit, look at it, see what you think and then add in more as you go because you can get a little carried away with it. So here's a look at how the vase turned out.
Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibwick DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.